All right, I have all the pieces out of the car that are gonna be used for the outlet side of the intercooler. And what I am gonna need to do now is I need to clean all these up, get all the oxidization off of these with my buffing wheel so that I can weld them. But when I do that, I'm gonna lose all my reference marks. So you can see right here that this piece is marked in a couple areas of Sharpie. And that's the orientation of how this thing is supposed to be clocked. So when I go to clean this joint off, I'm gonna lose those marks. So to make sure that I don't lose my reference marks, I don't have to put it back in the car and get it all clocked back together. What I'm gonna use is this tungsten carbide scribe and I'm gonna scribe lines into it for references that won't go away after buffing it so that I can effectively tack it together outside of the car. And then I'm gonna remove this flange from here do the same thing, clean up all the joints, and then we can get to tacking it together and welding it out. I think the satin finish looks a lot better. It's a lot more uniform, and if it ever gets scratched, it'll kind of hide it a little bit. You can see right here all this residue and stuff. This is from the mandrel bend process. I'm trying to get this all out of here since I'll be getting full penetration on these welds and that'll contaminate the weld if I don't. Charge piping's all done, all tacked in place at least. Now I gotta get it out of here, remove it, weld it all all the way around. Then I gotta figure out blow off valve placement and I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put them yet, but we'll get to that next. These are VS Racing 50 millimeter blow off valves. And as you can see here, the contour of the fish mouth doesn't really fit the pipe. So we're gonna have to find a way to relay that out and get it remilled down for the correct size.
can see now this fish mouth fits way better to the pike compared to the existing one and that'll make for a much better well. We got the charge piping in the car. We got both of our blow-off valves installed. Our intake air temp sensor on this side of the air cooler in. We got it clamped down. So we're good on this side. And we got that side installed too. So that's a lot of work done. I'm real happy with how it looks. And here it is going from the compressor housing to the inlet side of the intercooler. And these are some nice smooth transitions. I'm real happy with this as well. That's it for this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless, and I'll catch you on the next one.